Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. Today I'm gonna to make some hush puppies using Jiffy Mix. I was looking up fish recipes for some white fish I was gonna do for a video and well then this recipe started popping up because hush puppies go with fish. So I thought I would do a video. This is not gonna be a traditional hush, traditional hush puppy um, because Jiffy mix, which I love, is a sweeter corn mix. It does have some sugar in it. My eyes are watering because I was grating onions. Oh, now I know why my mom always had my dad do that job. But this is really pretty quick and that's what I liked about it. And I have everything ready and you have to mix it up and let it sit for at least a half hour up to like five hours and then you have to do the deep frying and so let's mix it up and I'll put it in the fridge and bring you back. Okay, whoa, my eyes are still burning. <laughs> Start with Jiffy Mix. Um, Jiffy Mix to me is just real convenient to keep in my pantry shelf. So I'm gonna break up some of these big clumps. And then we just add everything. One beaten egg. From our chickens. Uh, it's supposed to be a half a cup of grated onion. I probably got a third a cup. I, I gave up the onions one. It's a quarter cup of panko crumbs. It is five tablespoons of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can just take milk and add some vinegar or lemon juice to it. Um, I actually even added a little bit of my Friendship Red Starter, like one tablespoon of that, but five tablespoons. So I will have a link here to the fish video. I thought about doing fried fish, but then I thought I didn't want, I like fried fish, but I didn't want fried and fried today. I didn't want to deal with all that oil. And in here I have one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So we're just going to mix this together until it forms like a, a dough, I guess you would say. If I was gonna do this again, I'd probably use white pepper. Now I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for a half hour. We have shower caps that I use for making bread. I'm just gonna... I think it's hot enough now. I got out a small cookie scoop. Be careful so you don't splash it. And also don't overcrowd, don't put too many in at once. So I'm just gonna do three to start off with. You want them to get brown on one side, then we'll flip them over. They are puffing up quite a bit. Set them in there. Mm. 
they're really tender inside and fluffy, but they're very crunchy on the outside. They are sweet. There is a sweetness to them. I'm gonna keep making these. I'm gonna get going on the fish too. I realized the bowl was not the right thing. It needs Here's the hush puppies. They're crunchy. <laughs> They didn't keep their little ball shape. I don't know how the trick to that, but they'll do for the first time. They're good. I would put more onion flavor in it next time. Ah! I'll show you what the plate looks like for dinner. I would like more onion flavor. I should have gone for the half a cup. But my eyes couldn't handle it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time at Pike Creek Farm.